Welcome to my playthrough of NCAA Football 2008, PS2 version, EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey guys, finally, we have reached NCAA Football 08. It took a while, but here we are. So, here's the game mode, well, the main menu here. We got Play Now, Game Mode, you got your Campus Legend, Play Online, Dynasty, Points, Pursuit, Robber Game, Mascot Game, Scrimmage, Practice, Spring Drills. Now, Campus Legend is where you just, um, well, you're, I mean, you're a single player. I mean, you're just good. You, you have to choose what position you want to play. Like you just come out of high school. It's like you're living college football life, so to say, <laughs> as a single. And then the game features: you got playbook, audibles, create a school, create a player, create a sign, FBS rosters, FCS rosters, and his and his historic rosters. Then my shrine, which we'll get that later. NCAA tutorials. EA Sports Extras, which are just the video promos for other games, and settings. They have settings. <laughs> then load and save, and we'll go to My Shrine. And see, and here's my instant classics. I only got four of them, not as many as as has been in the other games. Yeah, that one was the Big 12 Championship. I was Texas beat, I beat Colorado. Colorado was on a rally, but I held them off. And that one was one of the robber games. I won by touchdown. I was Wisconsin. And that one was close one. I mean, that one I had to hold off as well. Then that one, don't know what happened, but I uh, beat uh, Florida FSU in a, by, uh, by a field goal in, in that one, so in the ACC Championship. That one was, un but this one was kind of unexplainable. <laughs> I beat Virginia, was Virginia Tech. So yeah, so uh, so uh, so I had two instant classics while I was for Virginia Tech. So the ACC was quite quite tough. And here's my trophy case. And here's my dynasty. Now, who I won with the BCS national championship? Not Oregon. It was Oklahoma. And I beat the USC Trojans, 37-16. And, 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 and here's my other trophies. The GAMAC Bowl, I was UTEP, and I beat Ball State by 10. Then the International Bowl, I was USF, and I beat Toledo 21 nothing. And then the Orange Bowl, I was West Virginia, and I beat FSU 42-7. Then the Fiesta Bowl, I was... Uh, Texas A&M, and I beat Michigan 27-16. Then the Sugar Bowl, I was LSU, and I beat Virginia Tech 38-21. Then the Gator Bowl, I was Rutgers, and I beat Virginia 31-15. Then the Capital One Bowl, I was Penn State, and I beat Florida 34-17. Then the AT&T Cotton Bowl, I was Tennessee, and I shut out Colorado 34-0. Then the Outback Bowl, I was Ohio State and I shut out Auburn 44 nothing and the Rose Bowl that's one you you guys seen so <laughs> yeah the, the, the inside bowl I was uh, Northwestern and I uh, kind of held off Bowling Green Bowling Green was coming back but I beat him by two touchdowns by 31 17 then the Chick-fil-a bowl I was Maryland and I whipped Kentucky 62 to 21 then the, the, the Music City Bowl I was Georgia and I beat o and I beat Ohio 34 to 10. In the Sun Bowl, I was Louisville, and I beat Arizona State 31-23. That one was a close one as well. I mean, that, that one kept, kept going back and forth. And this one, I had a win by 10 in the Armed Forces Bowl. I was TCU, and I beat Washington 38-28. Then, then the Independence Bowl, I was at Boston College, and I beat Kansas State 59-7. Huge. <laughs> Then the NPC, M, NPC Computers Bowl, I was Indiana, and I crushed Miami University 52-17. to 17. 
the Alamo Bowl, I was Michigan State, and I crushed Northern Illinois 41 to 14. Then in my, the Mighty Key Car Care Bowl, and I was Clemson, and I shut out Notre Dame 24 nothing. Then the Liberty Bowl, I was um, Houston, and I crushed Florida 52 to 17. Then the Emerald Bowl, I was Texas, and I shut out UCLA 27 nothing. The Texas Bowl, I was Iowa, and I crushed, I mean crushed them by a lot, 72 to 20 over at SMU. Then the Champs Sports Bowl, I was Purdue, and I just barely held off Miami 31 to 26. In the Holiday Bowl, I was Oregon State, and I beat Nebraska 44-16. Then the Motor City Bowl, I was Middle Tennessee C State, and I crushed Miami University 63 to 13. Then, the, then here's the, the awards: the, the receiver, the receiver of the year award, and that's Dizer from uh, Middle Tennessee State. The Heisman Trophy to Jones, of course you guys have seen that one. And then the Davy O'Brien Award goes to none other than Dennis Dixon. And then the Luke Rosa Place Kicker Award goes to Even Evenson, Oregon. Then the Returner of the Year was Jones. The, 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 the Remington Trophy to Thompson from TCU. Then, then the Lombardi Award to Zay Young. Yeah. Zay Young. You. <laughs> from LSU. And, and then the Jim Thorpe Award to Zenon for, for LSU. Then Clade. Clady. Clade. <laughs> from Boise State. And then Finley from Texas. Got the tie on the time in the year and then here's more the bowls and I was Hawaii and I crushed Houston 45 to 17 and then the Las Vegas Bowl I was Colorado State and I crushed and uh, I shut out Arizona 41 nothing then the New Mexico Bowl New Mexico Bowl I was New Mexico and I crushed Alabama 40 to 13 and then the Papa John's .com Bowl I was Pittsburgh and I crushed Iowa State and I shut out 52 to nothing and then the New Orleans Bowl I was Illinois and I crushed Oklahoma State 59-20. And then the point set I was UNLV, and I beat Temple by four touchdowns, 35-17. And then here's the uh, conference championships. Boise State, Virginia Tech for the ACC. And of course, Oregon Ducks, Pac-10. SEC was LSU. Mount West was TCU. The MAC was the Western, Western Michigan Broncos, and the CUSA, Houston. Big East, West Virginia, and then the Big 12, Texas, the Sun Belt, Middle Tennessee State, and then the Big 10, Michigan, and that's it. That's for the Dynasty slash the Legend trophies, and then the the, the, the Robert Game trophies. And I was uh, Houston, and I shut out Rice 49 to nothing, and that was the Bayou Bucket and the Apple Cup. I was Washington and a crush uh, Washington State 52 to nothing and shut out. And then the Beehive Boot, I was Utah and I and, and I crushed BYU 52 to three. And the Black Diamond, I was West Virginia and I crushed Virginia Tech 63 to seven. The Bronze Boot, I was Colorado State and I crushed Wyoming 20, 61 to 21. And then the Commander in Chief Trophy, I was Navy and I beat. Air Force by three by three touchdowns, the 35 to 14. And then the Commonwealth Cup, I was yeah did that. That was the instant classics. And then the Sahel Trophy, I was Iowa and I beat Iowa State 34 to seven. Then the Floyd of Rosedale, I was Iowa and I and, and I crushed and shut out Minnesota 50 to nothing. And then the Fremont Cannon, I, I was UNLV and I beat Nevada 49 to 24. And then the Golden Boot, I was LSU, and I crushed Arkansas 50 to 7. And then the Golden A Trophy, I was Ole Miss, and I crushed Mississippi State 52 to 21. And then the Golden Hat, I was Texas, and I I beat Oklahoma by 30, 40 to 10. And then the Governor's Cup, I was Kansas State, and I beat Kansas 20 to 16. And 
and another Governor's Cup. And I was Louisville, and I beat Kentucky 63-21. In the Governor's Victory Bail, I was Penn State, and I beat Minnesota 52-14. to In Ally Buck, I was Ohio State, and I crushed Illinois 52-7. to In the Island Trophy, I was Notre Dame, and I crushed Boston College 61-3. to In the Iron Skillet, and I was TCU, and I... And I beat SMNU 20, 23 to 2. Yeah. They, they never got touched on the whole game. It was, a, it was a safety in the first quarter, but I managed to put, put, put the points. But this one was my most. <laughs> uh, for the Jules Shishalele, I was a, a USC, and I beat New Notre Dame. Well, crushed him, actually. 80 to 7. Sorry about that. That was my drink. <laughs> and the King of Nails, I was uh, Louisville, and I crushed Cincinnati 59 to 21. And the Land Grant Trophy, I was Penn State, and I crushed Michigan State 63 to 9. And then the and, and Little Brown Jug, I was Michigan, and I beat Minnesota by 15, 35 to 20. And the Battle of the I 5 Trophy, I was New Mexico State, and I crushed New Mexico 42 to 3. The Marching Drum, I was Missouri, and I crushed Kansas 59 to 7. And the Megaphone, I was Notre Dame, and I crushed and shut out Michigan. State 49 to nothing. And the Missouri Nebraska Bell, I was Nebraska and I beat Missouri 41 to 27. And the ODK Foy Sportsmanship Trophy, aka the of the Iron Bowl, and I was at Alabama and I beat Auburn 30 to 20 30 to 7. And the old Oaken Bucket, I was Purdue and I beat Indiana, well crushed them 56 to 10. And the Paul Bunyan Trophy, I was Michigan, and I crushed Michigan State 49-3. And the Paul Bunyan Axe, that's on the Instant Classics. And, and the Peace Pipe, I was uh, Toledo, and I beat Bowling Green 42-18. to I actually crushed him. And the Purdue Cannon, I was Purdue, and I, and I crushed Illinois 70-21. to And the Seminole War Cone, I was Miami, and I crushed and shut out Florida 49 to nothing. And then the Shillelagh Trophy, I was in another name, and I beat Purdue 34-19. The Silver Spade, I was UTEP, and I beat New Mexico State 49-28. And the Stanford Axe, I was Cal, and I beat Stanford by 20, 37-7. And the Sweet Sioux Tomahawk, how you say that? <laughs> and, and I was Northwestern, and I beat Illinois 38 17 and the telephone trophy of Missouri and I crushed Iowa State 63 28 and the territorial cup I was Arizona State and I crushed Arizona 59 and 10 and the Tuxel Bowl trophy I, I pronounce that and I was Clemson and I crushed North, North Carolina State 70 to 7 and the Tiger Rag I was LSU and a crushed tour, crushed in in a shutout to a lane, to did nothing. And the victory bell, I was Miami. No, I'm sorry, I was Cincinnati. And I crushed uh, Miami University 63 to seven. And then victory bell for, well, North Carolina, I, I was them. And I crushed and sh shut out Duke 59 nothing. And victory bell, I was USC, and I beat UCLA 37 12. In the wagon wheel, I was Acheron, and I crushed Ken State, 55-3. In the Williams Trophy, I was Rice, and I crushed Tulsa, 70-14. So yeah, I've dominated a lot of games, not too many. And here's my report re card there. Yeah. <laughs> and I got up all the pendants. And points of pursuit, I got nothing. So, the, 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 the victory patches, I got them all. Yep. No problem with that, right?
And now here's the teams. All right, got the out. Air Force Falcons, Akron Zips, Alabama Crimson Tide, Alabama AM Bulldogs, Alabama State Hornets. Sorry, sorry about my STs. And the Elkhorn State Braves, Appal Appalachian State Mountaineers. Arizona Wildcats, Arizona State Sun Devils, Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions, Arkansas Razorbacks, Arkansas State Indians, Army Black Knights, then number thir 13th ranked Auburn Tigers, Ball State Cardinals, Baylor Bears, Bethany Cookman Wildcats, Number 23 ranked Boise State Broncos. Then number 25 ranked Boston College Eagles. Bowling Green Falcons. Brown Bears. Buffalo Bulls. Brigham Young Cougars. And number 16th ranked California Golden Bears. It's Central Michigan Chippewas. Chattanooga Mocks. Cincinnati Bearcats. Clemson Tigers. Colorado Buffaloes. Colorado State Rams, Columbia Lions, Connecticut Huskies, Cornell Big Big Red, Dartmouth Big Big Green, Delaware Fighting Blue Hens, Delaware State Hornets, Duke Blue Devils, Eastern Illinois Panthers, Eastern Kentucky Colonels, Eastern Michigan Eagles, Eastern Washington Eagles, Eastern Carolina Pir Pirates, Elon Phoenix, Florida International Golden Panthers, the number fourth ranked Florida Gators, Florida AM Rattlers, Florida Atlantic Owls, and then the number 21th ranked Florida State Seminoles, Fresno State Bulldogs, Furman Paladins, the number 18th ranked Georgia Bulldogs, Georgia Southern Eagles, Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, Grambling State Tigers, Hampton Pirates, Harvard Crimson, Hawaii Warriors, Hop, Stra Pride, Houston Cougars, Howard Bison, Idaho Vandals, Idaho State Bengals, Illinois Fighting Illini, Illinois, Illinois State Redbirds, Indiana Hoosiers, Indiana State, Sacramores, I think I pronounce it, Iowa Hawkeyes, Iowa State Cyclones, Jackson State Tigers, Jacksonville State Gamecocks, James Madison Dukes, Kansas Jayhawks, Kansas State Wildcats, Ken State Golden Flashes, K Kentucky Wildcats, Louisiana Tech Bulldogs, the number 11th ranked Louisville Cardinals, and the, and the number 3 ranked Louisiana State Tigers, Maine Black Bears, Marshall Thundering Herd, Maryland Terrapins, Min McNessie State Cowboys, Memphis Tigers, M Miami Hurricanes, Miami University Red Hawks, and the number two ring to Michigan Wolverines, Michigan State Spartans, Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders, Minnesota Golden Gophers, Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils, Mississippi S S State Bulldogs, Missouri Tigers, Missouri State Bears, Montana Grizzlies, Montana State Wild, I mean Wildcats, Morgan State Bears, Murray State Racers, maybe Midshipmen, North Carolina AT&T State Aggies, 
North Carolina State Wolfpack and the number 14th ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers, the Nevada Wolfpack, New Hampshire Wildcats, New Mexico Lobos, New Mexico State Aggies, Nicholas State Colonels, North Fourth State Spartans, North Carolina Tar Heels, North Texas Mean Green, North Northeastern Huskies, Northern Arizona Lumberjacks, I mean, yeah, Lumberjacks, yeah, <laughs> Northern Illinois Huskies, Northwestern Wildcats, Northwestern State Demons, Notre Dame Fighting Irish, o Ohio Bobcats, the number 12th ranked Ohio State Buckeyes, the number 8th eight ranked Oklahoma Sooners, Oklahoma State Cowboys, Old, Old Mississippi Rebels, o Oregon Ducks, my team, Oregon State Beavers, Pennsylvania Quackers, and the number 17th ranked Pennsylvania State Minty Lions, the Pittsburgh Panthers, Portland State Vikings, Perry View AM Panthers, Princeton Tigers, Purdue Boilermakers, Rhode Island Rams, Bryce Owls, Richmond Spiders, and the number 20th ranked Ruggers. Sorry, guys. Scarlet Knights. There we go. <laughs> Sacramento State Hornets. Sam Houston State Bearcats. Samford Bulldogs. San Diego State Aztecs. San Jose, San Jose State Spartans. Sorry about that. Dang, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the Southeastern Missouri State Red Hawks. The Southern Methodist Mustangs. South Carolina Gamecocks. South Carolina State Bulldogs. Southeastern Lions. Southern Jaguars. South, I mean, Southern Illinois. Tulicans, Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles, Stanford Cardinal, Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks, Syracuse Orange, and the number 22 20, ranked uh, Texas Christian Horn Frog, I mean, Horn Frogs, sorry, Temple Owls, and the number 15th ranked Tennessee Volunteers, Tennessee State Tigers, Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles, Tennessee Martin Skyhawks, and then the number fifth, five ranked Texas Longhorns, and then the number 24 ranked Texas A&M Aggies, Texas Southern Tigers, Texas State Bobcats, Texas Tech Ray Raiders, the uh, Cantonale Bulldogs, the Toledo Rockets, Townsend Tigers, Troy Trojans, Tulane Green Wave, Tulsa Golden Hurricane, the uh, University of uh, Alabama Birmingham Blazers, the, the University of Central Florida Knights, the, the number nine, 19 ranked uh, University of California Los Angeles Bruins, and the uh, University of Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns, the, the University of Louisiana Monroe Warhawks, and the University of Massachusetts Minutemen, and the University of uh, Northern Illinois Panthers, and the University of, uh, of Nevada Las Vegas Rebels, and the number one ranked uh, University of Southern California Trojans, and the uh, University of Southern Florida Bulls, uh, Utah Utes, Utah State Aggies, the University of Texas El, El Paso Miners, Vanderbilt Commodores, the Villanova Wildcats, the Virginia Cavaliers, the number 9th ranked Virginia Tech Hokies, Wake Forest Demon Deacons, Washington Huskies, Washington State Cougars, 
Weber State Wildcats, and the number six ranked West Virginia Mountaineers, and the Western Carolina Catamounts, and the Western Illinois Leathernecks, and the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, Western Michigan Broncos, William and Mary Tribe, and the number seventh ranked Wisconsin Badgers. Wolf Ford Terriers, the, the Wyoming Cowboys, Yale Bulldogs, Young's Town State Penguins, and, and here's classic teams got 61, 61 Alabama, 78 Alabama, 79 Alabama, 85 Alabama, 92 Alabama, 96 ASU, 44 Army, 45 Army, 46 Army, 85 Auburn, 84 Boston College. 80 BYU, 83 BYU, 84 BYU, 82 California, 81 Clemson, 90 Colorado, 94 Colorado, 94 Florida, 96 Florida, 97 Florida, 91 FSU, 93 FSU, 94 FSU, 95 FSU, 97 FSU, 99 FSU, 80 Georgia, 90 Georgia Tech, 58 LSU, 03 LSU, 80, 83 Miami, 84 Miami, 86 Miami, 87 Miami, 89 Miami, 91 Miami, 01 Miami, 02 Miami, 47 Michigan, 48 Michigan, 94 Michigan, 97 Michigan, 52 MSU, 66 MSU, 98 MSU, 34 Minnesota, 41 Minnesota, 83 Missouri, 97 Missouri, 70 Nebraska, 71 Nebraska, 83 Nebraska, 94 Nebraska, 95 Nebraska, 97 Nebraska, 24 Notre Dame, 30 Notre Dame, 46 Notre Dame, 47 Notre Dame, 49 Notre Dame, 66 Notre Dame, 73 Notre Dame, 77 Notre Dame. Sorry, like I said, sneeze. Anyway, we got 88 new Notre Dame, 90 new Notre Dame, 92 Notre Dame, 93 Notre Dame, 54 OSU, 68 OSU, 96 OSU, 98 OSU, 02 OSU, 55 Oklahoma, 56 Oklahoma, 74 Oklahoma, 75 Oklahoma, 85 Oklahoma, 2000 Oklahoma, 82 PSU, 86 PSU, 91 PSU, 94 PSU, 76 Pant I mean, Pittsburgh, 80 S SMNU, 82 Stanford, 59 Syracuse, 98 Syracuse, 38 Tennessee, 98 Tennessee, 663 Texas, 69 Texas, 54 UCLA, 32 USC, 62 USC, 72 USC, 03 USC, 04 USC, 95 Virginia, 98 Virginia Tech, 91 Washington, and, and then uh, and and, then, and here's all here's all I mean all all teams that means all the players from, I mean all classic players from the team that have the higher you know <laughs> that were the best on the on, on the team at that time in in their p p position we got Alabama, oops Arizona I mean ASU. Arkansas, Auburn, Clemson, Colorado, Florida, FSU, Georgia, Iowa, KSU, LSU, Miami, Michigan, MSU, Nebraska, North Carolina, Notre Dame, OSU Buckeyes, Oklahoma, OSU Cowboys, and the Oregon Ducks, of course. PSU, Pittsburgh, Purdue, Syracuse, Tennessee, Texas, Texas A&M, UCLA, USC, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Washington, and Wisconsin. And here's the, the All-Americans in the 91, in the 92, in the 93, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2000, oh, that's it. <laughs> I'll, I'll go to 04. 
Then uh, here's the mascots. You got the Air Force Falcon, Arizona Wilbur Wildcat, Arkansas Big Red, Army Black Jack, ASU Sparky, Auburn uh, Ubby, Ball, I mean, BSU Charlie Cardinal, Alabama Big Al, Boston College Baldwin, Boise, I mean BSU Buster, OSU uh, Buckeyes, Brutus Buckeye, BYU Cosmo, California Oski, Cincinnati the Bearcat, Clemson, Clemson the Tiger, CSU Cam the Ram, Colorado Chip, Duke Blue Devil, ECU PD, FSU Timeout, Bulldogs, <laughs> GTU Buzz, Houston Sh Chas Shah Sta, Iowa Harry Hawkeye, ISU Psy, KSU Willie Wildcat, Kansas Big J, Louisville Cardinal Bird, LSU Mike the Tiger, Marshall Marco, Miami's Sebastian 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 Sorry guys, it's hard to pronounce. <laughs> um, Miami University Swoop Minnesota Goldie Gopher MSU Bulldogs Bully Missouri Terman the, the Tiger Mon Montana Monty, MSU Sparty, MTSU Lightning, Navy Billy, NCSU Mr. Wolf, NBU the, the Leprechaun, Nebraska Herbie Husker, and Northwestern Willie, Ohio the, the, the Bobcat, OSU Cowboys, Pistol PD, OSU Beavers, Benny Beaver, Pitt Rock the Panther, PS, PSU, Nitty Lion, Purdue, Purdue PD, Ruggers, Scarlet Knight, South Carolina Cocky, Syracuse Otto, I mean, Oto, sorry. TCU Super Frog, Tennessee Smokey, Texas Hook'em, Toledo Rocky, Tulane Riptide, UCF Night, Night Row, UCLA Joe Bruin, Florida Albert, Georgia Harry Dog, Kentucky the Wildcat, Maryland Test Test Drudo North Carolina Ramses UNLV Hey Reb New Mexico Lubo Louie North Texas Scarpy I mean let's pronounce it USF Rocky Southern Mississippi Simor Virginia the Cavalier Vandy, I mean Vanderbilt, Mr. C, Virginia Tech, Cookie Bird, Wake Forest, the Deacon, Washington Harry, Wisconsin, Bucky Badger, WSU Butch, West Virginia, the Mountaineer, Wyoming, Pistol Petey, and Akron Zippy. So that's the team. So, but here is well the. Uh, Stadiums, and I'll just go through them. Well, actually, well, I will say the nickname of the places. So, okay.
the blue. Strawberry Canyon. Death Valley. The Swamp. Between the Hedges. The Mighty Quinn. The House. Death Valley. The Big House. The Sea of Red. The Dog House. The Horseshoe. The Otson Zoo, where great teams come to die. <laughs> Happy Valley.
the rock, the farm, the loud house, the link, the twelfth man, which is in Seattle as well. Coliseum. The war. That's it. All right, let's get ready for those three Oregon Duck games. The hot chocolate and coffee stands will be swapped today as the temperature is below freezing for the California Golden Bears and the Oregon Ducks. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Ducks. The Golden Bears expect big things from their guys today. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Oregon is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. Oh, there's only one winning team today. The Golden Bears won't have any problems today. Well, the captains are heading to midfield, so let's head down to the board though. And Corso is wrong. <laughs> That's right. This is Oregon's first loss of the season. Um, they 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 were trying to mount a comeback against uh, California to tie it, but uh, but uh, one of their receivers uh, fumbled the ball into the end zone, and that cost him the game. So. Let's see if we can re rewrite history here. I'll go to the ball first. 
Now in uh, Dynasty, I beat this team by two, so so it's going to be pretty tough here. So let's, so let's do this. got swallowed up there and just couldn't do anything. Keep on Tony. Might get a flag. Yep, there it is. First down. <laughs> That's the way to work it. Thanks for the free first down, California. Dixon's fast. Look at that. Look at those wheels. Oh, Kittle's out for the game. Yeah, same routine. I always choose Lee and see what kind of plays he's got. Set up for me, so so he's kind of like my offensive coordinator, so to say. Got it. And got it barely. I just reached it in there. <laughs> That's down ducks. Let's see it. Yeah, I barely just got a foot in there. Let's see that again. Ooh, that's real close. I think Cal might challenge it. Okay, it's close. So is Cal gonna challenge it? Guess not. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Might have the ball across across the, the plane, so don't know. So that's kind of a questionable touchdown, but all right, points is points as uh, you can get them. Nowhere. 
Yeah, I'm blocked there. <laughs> That's all it takes. Let's read. Chung. He plays for the Patriots now as safety. Yeah, couldn't hold on to it. Got him. No problem. Fought a T. Fought to T. I can't pronounce his name right. Sounds foreign. All right. They all held, well, held them off with the punt in the first cut, first one to drive, so that's good. I don't mind that. Number 11 punts it away, and this one's got some distance. Haysinger fields it at the 22. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Let's see if that passing game does the trick again. you got to take what the defense gives you here. The offense will take over at the 28. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back on first down. He lets it go. Got it again. He's tackled at midfield. The lineup in a good looking draft there. You're right. The quarterback doing as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Ball right around midfield. Stewart lines up in a deep back. I four eight. Oh crap, that was bad. Cooling. <laughs> Cooling the other way. I just didn't think about it, or I just didn't see that gap. Got it. The defense came with a blitz that time. Yeah, Cost him. You a quarterback that is smart at this guy. You got a blitz it late. You got to change your defense late. Right, Cook? That's exactly right. Let's see if they begin to pick up what we're seeing here. Just a little bit of a cat and mouse game out there. Good teams are the teams that can score touchdowns in the red zone. Let's see if this team is a good team. Dixon with three wide receivers. Dixon drops back. He passes it and wraps him up. Touchdown, Ducks. My goodness, guys. That was a spectacular play by the wide receiver. The coach has gone to great lengths to shepherd his receivers, and we've seen the results on the field. I just broke up the one tackle, and I was gone. There's 
setting up for the PAT. And he tacks on the extra point. Under a minute now in the first quarter of the score. Oregon, 14. California, nothing. That's what the awesome zoo does to you. Supposed <laughs> to be picked off. much. Intercepted. Not quite. Cam intercepts it. I didn't see him. Should have passed it on the right. Well, I kind of say I did, but I just didn't think he would jolt to the side that quickly, but he did. That's right. No big deal. At least they're down by another there, lone four. Yards. The Golden Bear. Line up with three wide. Intercept it. Ah, right there. Number seven with the intended target. That'll make it third down. It's third and four. All on our own ten. He ain't going nowhere. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. They sure shut down the halfback on that play. Boy, they were in the backfield in a hurry. The back just had no space to run the football. There are three quarters remaining. And our score here, Oregon, 14, California, nothing. Line up with three receiver punch. Field 
I got it. <laughs> Got it. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Touchdown, Ducks, yet again. <laughs> he didn't do anything. He just kind of, he just waited there. He didn't make the play. So watch. Look, he just stood there. He didn't go after me. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Man, oh man. This is just not Cal's game. Well, the uh, quarterback just didn't even move. That's what happened. Goodbye. Second 
Dixon lines up with four wideouts. Dixon on the option. And down he goes at the 48 yard line. He decides to keep it and gets the first down. Good decision there by the quarterback. Hold on to the football and not risk a turnover. A well tuned option will give defenses fit. They line up at the 48. It's first down. Dixon has four receivers lined up here. Dixon, one of the option. And they push him out at the 43. My goal is to move the ball downfield, but I don't want to give away my entire game plan. From the 43-yard line, second down. Dixon lines up in the shotgun. Play fake. Dixon delivers. To the hit. That was a nice catch. He went up leaving his body susceptible to the hit, but he came down with it and got a first down. Hey, at this level of college football, those are the plays you have to make. And he did well coming down with that one. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Ducks come out the shotgun. I hope they didn't work too well there. How about that defensive end getting in there on that play? That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. This option could be successful if the defense over pursues and is too aggressive. Second down. Stewart is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Looks. He throws it. Got it. Nice catch, too. That catch gives him over 100 yards in the first half. Yeah, this guy's off to a hot start. Let's see if he can keep it up. And we take a quick look at the stats from inside the 20-yard line. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. Experience is everything. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. Option. Touchdown, Ducks. Cal's name is Ryan. <laughs> Almost went out of bounds there, but I went back there a little bit. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. And he adds the extra point. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score Oregon 28, California. So the offense takes over. The last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll set up shot at the 25. He drops back. Flips it. That was nearly intercepted. I think as far as cow's been, been uh, near the 50. <laughs> and intercepted. Too easy. That's a pick six. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. 
Man, I, don't know if, I know if Cal has a chance to come back now. <laughs> wow. Tell the story this game. He looks to throw on first down. He's going left. Incomplete. He had it. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second down. Second and ten. California comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. They'll give it off here. He juice. Brought down at the 38 yard line. And they pick up nine there. And they'll go in the no huddle. They'll throw for the first. Throws the bullet. That's incomplete. Oh, Jeez. Drop passes just aren't accessible. I don't care if you're getting hit or not. Hey, he'll shake it off. No big deal. Watch. They'll go to him again. And he'll come up with the catch. You know? He probably will, but there's still no excuse for the one he just dropped. Hayseger is back awaiting the run. He gets it away. Hayseger fields it at the 19. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick. Hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Tell your kids that this is where they earn your stripes. They'll go to work. Man, just wait. Probably run out the clock. I won't rush up the uh, the, the uh, touchdowns. Dixon lines up with three receivers on his left. Dixon with the give. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Stewart gains around eight yards on the run. Yeah, sorry about that. My camera kind of cut out there a little bit early. There we go. Second half. First or not? One yard on the play. Nope. Third down. The Golden Bears line up in a goal line formation. They get it out there on the top. Don't get it. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Fred, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. Okay. 
face of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and has found his man. Yep, give the receiver some credit, too. He got open and made a nice catch for the first down. We've got a first and ten. Dixon is back in the gun. Running back has it. Not any much. <laughs> Oh, I didn't quite get it. It was close. Well, it's my first punt in the game. <laughs> Blocked it. Seven, balls for the fair catch. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. The offense will start at the 14. Single set back for you. He looks to throw on first down. Toss is short. And it's the senior. Four yards gained. Second down. They're in the eye. They'll give it off here. Two moves. Ooh, he's almost gone. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. California comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Under pressure, and they bring get set. So much for that previous play. <laughs> They'll line up at the twenty five. Second and long coming up here. Number 20 in the deep back as they line up in the eye. Throws this one out. Oh, got line. it. Glover with the tackle at the 44 yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. And this guy's not going to burn too many guys deep, but he's definitely a good possession guy who we can rely on. They line up at the 44. First down. And intercepted. Yeah, this is just not your day, isn't it? That's my third interception. I just ran him over. <laughs> About five yards there on the pullback carry. You got to play the game with a passion. I love the kids that love the game of football. Second and five. Ball on the 44 yard line. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. Surveys the field. 
No problem. Right there, crap. Oh, rough the quarterback. And guess whose ball is it? Mine. Cali interception blew it. Close to the touchdown there. Next play, I'll probably get in. But guess what? That's in the third quarter with no touchdowns. I'll just let the clock clock run out. As we go to the final quarter of play, this one is almost wrapped Pretty up. Pretty much. Our score here, Oregon 35, California nothing. If I would have pitched it, he wouldn't have gotten it. The defense might be looking for a run. So I put the ball in the air and try to get six. From the four yard line. Second down. They set up with a shotgun here by the goal line. Keep an eye on the quarterback. I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw here. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Got it, but it's on now. I'll take the field goal. Nope. No problem. Take over at the 
the Golden Bear. Line up in an eye formation. He's tackled at the 26. Number 20 picks up a yard on the play. That will make it second down. They line up at the 26. It's second down and nine to go. The Golden Bear line up with a single setback to you. He lets it go. That's going to be intercepted. Number one was the intended target on the play. That will make it third down. From their own 26 yard line. Now it's third and nine coming up. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. He's looking to pass. He's hit and got away. Yeah, we're going to hit that time. Great speed to find his way to the quarterback. You know, if I were the coach, I'd find this kid up at defensive end every now and then. Wow, can you imagine that? A third or a second situation, he'd make a great rush in, Kirk. I like that. I like that, Kirk. So much for Cal today. They haven't got a single point. I mean, a field goal. So a little bit of Richard, Richard Buchan here, I mean, of what happened last time. Revenge or whatever. <laughs> but whatever, it's change of history, put it that way. Much just to get around the clock because I got this. I mean, what more can I do? The Ducks line up in an eye formation. Stewart gets it on the inside, and they make the stop at the 36. I think this offensive line is getting better and better as the game goes along. And, coach, I'll tell you what, I think they're killing the will on this defense, and I don't think they're done just yet. I keep pounding away here. Overrated. <laughs> I actually hear that from the fans. They'll work from the shotgun. Here's a counterplay. They'll knock him down for a loss. And he couldn't go anywhere on that loss. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defense in front got a good push and knocked that offensive line. Look at Dixon. Look at those numbers. Ha <laughs> ha. Just another great game. Sets up with four receivers. Have you not been watching? You gotta play it safe here and keep running the football. 
And we take a quick look at the stats from inside the 20-yard line. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. Experience is everything. Dixon with the give. Bounces off a would-be tackler. And he's tackled at the 7. Stewart gains 8 yards on that play. Try to run the clock out here. Second and two coming up here. Seven yards for the touchdown. Easy call here. Give it to the playmaker and running back. <laughs> well, I'm just going to run the clock. Game is over. No problem. So from 24 to 17, Cal, how about 38 to nothing, Ducks? Ah, ah, too nice. That's why the crowd is so overrated, because they were. Kind of like what happened back in uh, 2000 and, uh, 2009, yeah, Cal was ranked so high, and then all of a sudden, when they lost the Ducks big that one year, that was overrated, <laughs> way overrated. All right, let's, let's go. Let's go for the next Ducks game. Welcome everyone. Brad Nestler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Kirk Street and the coach, Lee Corso. Mother Nature has served up perfect weather for today's game between the USC Trojans and the Oregon Ducks. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Ducks. The Ducks have nothing to lose in this game. Kirk, how do you see this thing playing out? Oregon has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Only, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big day. Nice pick. How could you not take this? I love the Jordan. This one's almost underway, so we're about to find out real quick just how smart of a pick that was, Coach. Coach, you're wrong. Yep, this game. Oregon sealed it off with an interception, and they won it, and they beat the Trojans. So, that's why I'm playing this one. Yep, I'm playing two California schools, opposite rivals, but it was some, I mean, it was a, Memorable kick again that that year. So yeah. Well, the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 15 takes it to 14. With a flag on the field, I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. It's clipping. Want to hold him? But either way, it's penalties. Looks to pass. 
He looks. He airs it out. Oh. Bubble. It's picked up by the defense. Nice. From a big game to a fumble. He's just a board after interception, but a turnover is a turnover. And he'll take it any way he can get it. I couldn't yep. agree with you more, Coach. Thanks, Kirk. That's what I like to hear. Anytime. <laughs> so they'll start this drive at midfield. Oregon comes out with an eye formation. Stewart takes a field. And they make the stop at the 50-yard line. That'll be a two-yard game. In this situation, you've got to trust the quarterback's decision-making. It's second down. The Ducks come out the shotgun. Looking, rolling out to the left side. He lets it go. Right, first down. Take it down at the 41. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep, give the receiver some credit too. He got open and made a nice catch for the first down. Oh, I see the bridge. Yeah, I see the blitz coming there. Couldn't get off in time. That's the risk of those play actions. I mean, sometimes, sometimes it's a win or a fail. Pretty much I have to throw deep. <laughs> it's second and long. Ball on the 47. USC and all their DBs in for this five wide set. Going deep. Got it. He got it. He goes down at the two yard line. Heck of a catch by the wideout to pick up a nice chunk of yardage. This kid is a very special football player. He can make the catch over the middle of traffic or he can take it the distance using his speed. He can do it all. You gotta get it into the end zone here. Alright, they're in the red zone. Shotgun formation. Let's see if they run the draw here. Dixon drops back. Oh, oh he had it. Incomplete. That's just good defense right there, Cody. It must hurt, but you know what? It's all the action. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away. Second down. Sometimes it's harder to score this close to the end zone because the defense is all bunched up there. You just gotta find the defense's weakness. Mm -hmm. It's power football time, folks. Run it again. Remember, and he could go anywhere. Remember the last time I faced USC wasn't wasn't O2 and I came away with that dramatic overtime victory, so so I hope this doesn't read re re right history here, so <laughs> I just want to be the Trojans. The Ducks line up in a goal line formation. Oh, I didn't get it. Damn it. Oh, it didn't go anywhere. I'm taunt. Let him taunt. They were covered with a heavy blitz. The guys were shooting. That's a flag. Right Cowboy did the same exact thing. Jeez. Looks like someone went a little too far. I think that's a free first down right there. Oh, it's a four down. Okay. But still. I try and get three points here. They're going to go for the easy three here. Yeah, why not? Take points while you can get them. To try to put his team up by a field goal. The kick is up. Got it. And it's right down the middle. Hey, where's the bite song? Only on touchdowns or something? <laughs> He's out of bounds. So, that been... He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. Devin has got a sack. It's second down. 
USC. Dumps to the line, only one man in the backfield. Glover brings him down at the 32-yard line. Number 23 gets three yards on the carry. That'll bring up third down. They line up at the 32. It's third and seven. Uh, oh, oh, thank goodness. If you would have caught that, you'd been gone. <laughs> wow. Just as long as you just as long as you hang on to it. Good yards there. They go with the option and pick up the first down. That was just good instincts. You have to know when to pitch it or when to keep it. And in that situation, the quarterback knew he could pick up the first, so he kept it himself. Very good decision. From their own 49 yard line. First down. They line up in the shotgun. Dixon looking to throw on first down. Oh, I see him coming. Good look up on that one. Not a pretty pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. That was not a good pass at all. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. Exactly. The Ducks with four receivers. Look, rolls to the left. Dixon. Got it. Dixon. Oh, great catch. Tackle made at the 31 yard line. Nice play there to pick up the first down. Kirk, that was quite an acrobatic catch. They don't get much better than that. No doubt. He did a great job of getting up in the air, ignoring the defenders, and coming down with the ball. This option could be successful if the defense over pursues and is too aggressive. I'll give it a shot. Never know. First and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. USC lines up in a dive defense here. He's looking to pass. Looks. Throws got hit when I got. Got it for the touchdown. Touchdown, Ducks. Nice. They hooked up for the long touchdown there, guys. What a great call. The quarterback knew he had the matchup that he wanted, and he took it. Got off in time, too. How about that receiver? He made a great catch. That was in. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. Single setback. He 
Oh, got it, and he got another fumble. Oh, jeez. Don't give it to seven. <laughs> oh, brother, he's got butterfingers. But they can't afford to turn the ball over and let this thing get out of hand. As a quarterback, you've got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. They'll set up shot at the 35. Dixon is back in the gun. Stewart gets the carry. I don't think we get to that one. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. In this situation, you got to trust the quarterback's decision making. They line up at the 38. Second down. Dixon lines up in the shotgun. Dixon steps back to pass. Jake's He's coming. Oh, shoot, but I didn't get the second one off. He was under some pressure there. Well, yeah, it was. As a quarterback, you have so many things to worry about. What's the coverage? Where's the pressure coming from? And so on. That you lose focus at times throwing a catchable ball. Here, he just missed the target. Yo, that's a bunch of yards to go. And as a player, you just got to know how far you need to go to make that first down. Dixon comes to the line with three wide. Dixon drops the throw. He looks... Down the middle. Got it. And he's tackled right away. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good looking play, wasn't it, coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense really like. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. USC comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Looking, Dixon slings it right. Oh, crap. That was nearly picked. He couldn't get the handle on the ball, and that would cost him six. The ball was thrown well enough to be No, nah, it was almost picked. I shouldn't have well, threw it that direction. Yard line. Second and ten. Kind of hard to tell when it's at an angle. The Ducks with four receivers. Tackle at the 21. Stewart picks up a yard on the play. After a quarter of play, our score is Oregon 10, USC nothing. Yo, that's a bunch of yards to go. And as a player, you just got to know how far you need to go to make that first down. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Dixon, back in the gun. Looks, Dixon. Throws oh, no, it might be picked. It is crap. I thought he would go more to the to more to the right there, but it didn't work. Yeah, I just kind of mistimed it there. Happens. Defense has been good so so far. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just adjusting, I'm just adjusting my camera. For their own 12 yard line. Second and eight. The Trojan come out of the ace formation. He'll get the call again. Brought down at the 13 yard line. Number 23 gets about a yard on the floor. They're down at seven. Ball on their own 13. Oh, got it. And he's tackled at the 32. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. Yeah, I don't think he wants to give it to the number seven again. <laughs> he can catch it, but, but uh, he can fumble it. Oh, fumble. That's my third. Jeez, that's my third fumble recovery. Jeez. Boy, I'll say he did. He was right where to be. As a coach, you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. The offense will start at the 37-yard line. 
Dixon lines up with the shotgun. Moves up with the pocket. He fires. The senior makes the catch. And they make the stop at the 14. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and take advantage. Call it the red zone when you're inside the opponent's 20 yard line. Right. They're inside the 20. Dixon lines up with three receivers on his left. He's hole there. At the nine. Five yards. That's bad. I just couldn't pick the house there. You gotta go out there and compete. Be a competitor. the nine-yard line. It's second down. Go with the shotgun here. Back to pass. Looks. He's rolling left. Oh, crap. Fire. Oh, good. My goodness, guys. That was I thought it was going to be picked, but got the touchdown anyways. Two the Ducks. The coach great lengths to shepherd his receivers, and we've seen the results on the field. See? Right there. I thought 55 was going to pick it off. Thank goodness. Either way, I'm, I'll take it. They'll line it up for the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Oregon 17, USC. Nothing. Oregon to kick this one off. Number two and number 15 back to return. Here's the kick. Number 15 fields it into seven. Well, guys, their last drive ended on a fumble ball. What do you think they can do to be more successful this time? Well, for one, they can hold on to the football. Turnovers absolutely kill the team's momentum. Yeah, I just think they have to be a little bit more careful with the ball. The offense will take over at the 28. Comes out with two tight ends. They hand it off. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. A good six yards there by the fullback. It's second and four. Ball at the 34-yard line. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays. And right now, they're not having much luck at all. He's looking to pass. Dumps it. It's complete. Oh, got it. So they'll move the chains with that catch by the tight end. Five yard gain on the play. First and ten. Ball on the 39. Number 23. All over the backfield. He drops back. Throws on balance. Way to look it in. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. From their own 43-yard line. It's second down at six to go. Number 23 is a deep back as they line up in the eye. With a hand. With the tackle at the 43-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 43. The Trojan come out of the ace formation. Back to pass. He passes it. It's on enough. Man, he took him down hard. Sure did. Number 44 is waiting for the snap. 
Why are they wasting time on the clock? I do not know. He gets it off. Because they're afraid of me uh, Pacer, Pacer taking points, like I am right now. <laughs> At the point, How about that? Wow. How exciting is that? Jeez, like it's the number one team in the nation. Really? Actually, they better waste a lot of time on the clock because they might get another return here. corner, but nope. Now keep cheering, Trojans. You're not going to get any points. You're not going to come back. It's over. We still have a half left to play, but right now, they've got this thing under control. Our score, Oregon, 24, USC, nothing. The teams are lined up, and we're just about ready to start this second half. Sends it off. Joel takes it at the eight. And now a slight break to the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 34-yard line. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. Drops back up first down. Looking. He wants it all going long. Got it. <laughs> even even Jonathan could catch uh, passes with this USC defense. I put the ball in my quarterback's hands and see if he can make something good happen. First and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Tackle made at the 28. Stewart gets three yards on the carry. If you're not excited about playing football, then you should be on the sideline watching. 
It's second down. comes out with five defensive backs this time. He's looking. He unloads it. Got it to the senior. That's the arm strength we've been talking about all week, guys. Yeah, we get a chance to see it again here. You got to get it into the end zone here. The pressure turns up when you're this close to the goal line. Let's take a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. The deodorant for the experienced fan. They hit him over the end. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Instead of running around the defenders, ran right into the I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle up front. This play should work out very nicely. They'll line it up at the six-yard line. Oh crap, pretty off in time. Oh, Dixon's injured, that's okay. Oh, it took too many hits. So the so this gives for pretty leaf a chance to shine. Oh, and he had it. Williams had it. Close ball for this defense. You're absolutely right. You're not going to see him drop the ball like that too often. What a break for the defense. The ball on the field goal unit here. This would be a 31 yard field goal. That's okay. Take points while I can. And got through the middle. out for the game. That's okay. I got a big lead, so I don't mind using Leaf. That's okay, you see, keep going while you can. You're, you're not going to get past me. First down. USC sets up in the eye. Play action. He's looking for his man. Wide open. And down he goes. I got a flag. Penalty on the floor. Let's check it out. 
We go backwards. Good call. Yeah, he practically brought it to the ground there. Oh, Pete, you know it's true. It's first in a mile. Ball on their own 34. Number 10 with three wide receivers. He looks to throw on first down. Across the middle. He snags it. Good open field tackle. That's a seven-yard gain. From their own, 41-yard line. Second and 13. USC goes for the ace set here. Let's it fly. The intercept, it was right into Harper's hands. Here we go again. Interception by the defense. Oh, man. Is there anything they can salvage at this point, Coach? Not much, except maybe put in some younger players to get some game experience. This game is over. It's just a matter of pitch and catch. So go get it done. They'll go to work at the 47. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Looking. He rifles it. Oh, he had it. It's incomplete. And he really threaded the needle on that pass. It's always hard for a wide receiver to make a catch like that in traffic. But a nice effort. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. Surveys the field. Number 16. Slings it right. Way to look it in. And Herbie, that was a good look. I hit too. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good look at play. Nothing fancy here. Just convert the first down and keep the drive going. It's third and one. Look at all yards. <laughs> Oregon will line up in a jumbo set here. Just now, dominant. Dominating, dominating performance. Ah, oh, didn't get the first down. That's all right. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a team. That's the time and practice will bring you first. The Ducks line up the punt. Number four is back to receive. Number 80 bunts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. I did. Signals for a fair kick, and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. High formation here. First down, look at the throw. And it's caught. No gain. But, but they got it back this time. Talk about a close call. The running back put the ball on the ground, but the offense keeps possession. Is it somebody's birthday on defense? I don't know. Where are you going with this one? Well, it's got to be somebody's birthday because this running back is handing out presents out there. Either that or he's doing his best to get benched. Now oh, I got you. Fumble. Birthday present. I got you. up at the 17. It's third down. Number 10 lines up with four wideouts. Drops back to pass. Throws it out there. That's a great tackle at the 36 yard line. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First down. Oh, 
25-yard line. It's second down. Let's it go. Oh, got it. It's complete. Brought down at the That's right. That one worked pretty well. It's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He had a good separation to the defense. First down. Well, yeah, again, that's mine. Fourth one. Fumble here is the last thing they needed. Well, you know what they say, when it rains, it pours. And at this point, they're in a torrential downpour. Absolutely nothing has worked for them today. That's right. You know what? This is a good time to execute the plays you practiced all week. The Ducks with four receiver. Stewart takes it up the middle. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. Seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. There's really not a bad play to call in this situation. As a player, you just have to execute the play that the coach is called. USC lines up in a dive defense here. Stewart will run it again. See ya. To the 20, to the 10. They get in. Play that was well designed and well executed. You can't get much better than that. Fifth one. Hold it on. You know what I like about this game? 
is he's the first person to give those big hall polys a butt credit. And you know, this is a bigger, man, this is a bigger beating than Cal. Sanchez, quarterback. Mark Sanchez. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23. Number six with three wide receivers. He passes it, and he's got the freshman. And Kurt, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. And third down, five yards to go. Ball on their own 28. That was intercepted. That brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what, this team just did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. The Trojan line up the punt. They should say overrated the crowd, because this is. Drilled me there. And Oregon got it back. Walter Thurman got it back. Very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. A full of good play. Try this one. From their own 28 yard line. First down. Oregon lines up at a goal line set. Brown takes it up the middle. He's tackled at the 32. A four-yard pickup by the fullback. In this situation, I'm telling my guys to hold out of the football and just stay in bounds. The Ducks with four receivers. Stewart takes the give. Brought down at the 33-yard line. Stewart gains about a yard on the play. From their own 33-yard line. It's third down and five to go. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. Here's the option. First down, a whole lot more, and that knee is gone. Yeah, you see, he's just giving up. He's just giving up. Yeah, Jonathan's doing all the work. <laughs> Leaf hasn't done much. Here's the kick. Number 15, passed at the 5. 
Another fumble. Coach, what can you do to avoid those turnovers? Well, they just got to get back to the fundamentals. For the skill players, that means hanging on to the football. This is where you just go with what you know the best. Here's a chant. First and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. Overrated. Oregon lines up in a goal line set. Stewart on the right side. And down he goes at the 16. Stewart comes away with two yards on the carry. That'll make it second down. I keep pounding away here. No need to go to the air and risk turning the ball over. And since we're inside the 20, where experience matters most, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. Again with the run. Goodbye again. I can't help it. <laughs> I mean, if I'm open, I'm open. But that offensive line's getting my pat on the back. They've done a tremendous job. Absolutely right, Kirk. Yes, they have. They've been wonderful. They line up for the point after. Man, this is just like the, the Dynasty mode game. Jeez. Could we saw how bad I whooped USC? This is like... The same thing, same exact thing. Cal's got to be lucky that they didn't play like this against me. <laughs> Will it be an, an, another fumble? Their sixth? <laughs> Number 13, the lone bat. Sets up play action. He throws it. And he pulls it well, down. Nope. Guess he's going to get the first touchdown. The 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. They made that touchdown. I can't get that to one today. Just because I feel bad. <laughs> you practice hard all week. Oh, rough the kicker. He makes the PAT. There's a flag down in the backfield. First one foul. Rough the kicker. Open the defense. It's over. They don't get the onside, and that should be enough to seal the deal. That's right. Sleep it up, sweetheart. This one is over. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. No wonder Jonathan gets a player of the game. <laughs> So in, instead of 24 to 17 ducks, how about 55 to 7 in a dominating performance? Ducks. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. What are your final thoughts on the game, coach? I can't say enough about this performance. Oregon played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after going on a team like this. We here at EA Sports want to thank you for watching this game.
game of NCAA football 2008. The final count in this one, Oregon 55, USC 7. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herb Street, this is Brad Nestler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Jeez. I said, like I said, USC was not even trying at all. Five fumbles. Wow. All right. Let's get ready for the final Ducks game. At the Sun Bowl, this is where the Ducks ended up at. And then the season, after they uh, lost Dennis Dixon and facing Arizona, then they lost the rest of their games, and this is where they ended up. So, I think I'll kick on this one. I'll go ball second half. And plus, this is the third game that Lee has picked uh, the uh, opposite team to beat me. Well, guess what? He's going to be wrong again. Okay, here we go. And this one's away. And plus, by the way, Oregon crushed USF in uh, this one. Well, well, this game. Now so. Let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Well, guys, I think the player to watch today is in the defensive backfield. You're right about that, Brad. This safety has the speed of a cornerback and the hitting ability of a linebacker. And that's what makes him a dynamic player. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if we saw a couple of picks by this guy today. I'm predicting at least one, Coach. First down, 10 to go. South Florida in a five-wide set. Down the middle. Good this one is incomplete. Number 18 was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it second down. Second down. All on the 40 yard line. South Florida lines up with a shotgun set. He's going right. Just couldn't drag a foot in bounds. And it would have been one heck of a toe drag. That's for sure. You got that right. right. Third it's third down. And plus, these two teams. They had the n number two as number two ranked, but they both lost it while they had it. So that's kind of weird how these two teams met up and and uh, that uh, and they had the uh, second ranking in the polls until like one week. So been here they they got the first down. So that's all right. Oh, he had that. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second down. Number eight is back in the gun. And he's tackled at the 44. That'll be a gain of five. So another third down. Coming for the offense. Oregon comes out defensively with six defensive backs. And they got it again. Fellas, this is really turning into a very impressive drive. All right. First down and counting on this drive, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here. It's more I remember something called a third, the third down curse. It's uh, it's uh, happening. <laughs> South Florida in a four wide set. He delivers. The ball is tipped. 
and they make the stop at the 30-yard line. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brett. I don't know what the quarterback saw, but hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. Uh, Crash California and USC. USF is giving me a. He dropped back. Well, 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 you know. Okay, Bolton. Okay, Bolton. Not the third down curse. That was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good looking play. This guy, it's only the first half, so no big deal. Ball on the 17 yard line. Second half is, is when I'm going to pour it on. Set up in the gun. There's a missed tackle. They'll bring him down at the 11. That's a nice six yard game. Number eight lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Whoa. Way to look at it. Couldn't get anything out of that. Third down again. Here we go. Third down. They've had no problem converting their first two. South Florida lines up in the shotgun set. Intercepted. All that work for nothing. <laughs> well. Oh, hey. Defense looks very well coached on that play. That's what happens when 11 full hawking defenders go full speed. No uh, third down curse there. Thank goodness. Kept it off with the interception. Just go out and let your receivers make a play. I got something different. This drive will start at the 20. From the gun, he looks to throw on first down. Oh, got me. Get the sack. What I do is score right here. You got to give your players a chance to make the play and make the first down. Right there, got it. And he is gone. How about that for a touchdown? <laughs> that was 99 yards. Let's say maybe over 100. Hooked in one tackle and I was gone. Yards underneath the coverage. 
it's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Number eight with three wide receivers. Across the middle. And Intercepted again. The other way now. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Decline it. Second pick. You got to take what the defense gives you here. First, and First down. Ball of the 32 yard. Line. Oregon lines up with a shotgun set. Drop back to pass. Look. Dixon. Oh crap. Right. Dang it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Colvin was the intended that was receiver close. on that pass. So that'll make it second down. Second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Dixon back in the gun. He's under some heat. Ah, yeah, I see him coming. And you dropped it. The wide out just got too excited, too quickly, and forgot to catch the football. Well, we continue to see this. It looked like he was ready to celebrate before he caught it. Oregon, ready to put this one away. Number 17, back deep to return. Puts the ball away. Number 32, balls for the fair catch. And they'll have oh. to catch the five. Oh, the five, okay. Must it, must it, oh, oh no, oh no, it, oh, but it, it's at the 20. I mean, like, I was thinking, like, wow. <laughs> like, how do we t t touch at the five? Oregon lines up in a dive defense here. We're back to get off. He's taken down at the 27. Second down. Number one, all over the backfield. Play fake. Oh, he's got the first down. Shoot. And he's level at the 37. That is exactly why this kid is so tough to defend. You bet he is. He's faster than some of the receivers. First down. Comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He looks to throw on first down. Look out! Catches it. Tackle at the 46. Wow. How about that catch, Kurt? He really got up there, didn't he, Coach? It's very tough to defend a guy who can go up and catch a ball like that. Of course, they'll be in in the first quarter. We're through one quarter, and the score is Oregon 7, South Florida nothing. They line up at the 46. It's second down. The Bull line up with four wideouts. Play action. Builds up this one off. Incomplete. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number 11 was the intended target. That'll make it third down. Oh, shoot. That's an offsides. And he's tackled at the 47 yard. Or not. Well, they nope, they get Okay, good. That was close. I kind of jumped lower over there. Just steps up and makes a play Happens. Stopping them and bringing up fourth down. But, held them though. That's the main thing. It's really close. Up the away. Number 24 awaits the snap. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Hey, Singer, fields it at the 19. The offense.
offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 21. The Ducks with four receivers. Dixon, back to pass. He guns it left side. Ah, oh, he ain't going to it. He might have been looking to run and didn't secure the ball. Well, sometimes you see young players do this. This is something they have to work very hard to be able to overcome. From their own 21-yard line. Second down. Dixon lines up with three receivers on his right. Here's an option, right side. And oh, that was a Messiah. <laughs> he kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's going to pitch it, he cuts up the field and keeps the ball himself. No question, Coach. Great execution. Yep, Dixon's fast. There by the quarterback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. On the ground, up the middle. He's tackled at the 49. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running line. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and 10. Ball on their own 49. Nixon on first down. Looking, he passes it, another catch, and he's taken down at the 25. That catch gives him over 100 yards in the first half. Yeah, this guy's off to a hot start. Let's see if he can keep it up. It's first down. They'll go with the run once again. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Read that one all the way. That was well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Oh, and this one falls kind of incomplete. Overthrew him. The quarterback saw the blitz and let it fly, but too high. Oh, that rhymes. In this long yard situation, you just got to go out there and perform your best. Third down. Mm. Gonna pick this one, but let's see. But let's see what we can do here. Pass on this one. Dixon drops back to pass. Looks. Uh, oh, got it. Just enough. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be short. Third and long, guys. The offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk. The quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. First down, ten to go. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. So that worked out pretty well there. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Dixon options out. He's tackled in the open field. I was, uh, I was actually trying to pitch it, but it, but, but it wouldn't let me. Must have just got it. The teams that can score touchdowns in the red zone. Let's see if this team is a good team. Must have in second and got hit at the wrong time there. I just didn't the pitch it in time. They're crowding the line. Dixon drops back. Even the pressure. Oh, that's nearly intercepted. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here in the pass rush. That time it paid off with the completion. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Dixon. Oh, they got me right there. <laughs> Two yard loss. If I would have pitched it, I would have lost even more yards. But it's okay, I'll take the field goal. No problem. Take points while you can. This is why you have a kicker. Let the kid do his thing. Yeah. It's fourth down. <laughs> this will be a 25-yarder. No problem. Oregon is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up. Yep. And he's got it. Fumble, and I got it. And 
a big change in momentum right here, sir. And you know what? When the other offense takes the field, I say they go for the home run on the very first play. I like your thinking, Kirk. They always say defense is most vulnerable after a turnover. That's right, coach. If I were calling the shots, that's what I would do. And the Ducks line up with three wide. I'll do just that. He airs it out. And it worked. He caught it. Touchdown. They made a great connection there for the touchdown, didn't they, fellas? What a quarterback to do a strike for wide receiver. He caught it and took it all away. Well, what a dangerous combination. You can't say enough about how good that throw was. The quarterback put that right on the money. They must have got to me, too. But it won't matter. I'm headed by... We'll be 17. They'll line up for the extra point. And he converts the extra point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Oregon, 17. South Florida, nothing. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. Number 21 and number 25, deep to return. Decent kick. Number 25, that's at the five. Jim Boone. The offense comes back out of the field, hoping to build off their last run. It's all about execution. You saw this in the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. For me, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to. They were looking to do the same here. The Ducks line up with six defensive backs. A hand off on the counter. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. South Florida will call a timeout, and they've got two remaining. From their own 32-yard line, it's second and two. This defense is in the dive. Fakes to the back. Comes it right. And hang on. Incomplete. Number nine was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up third down. They line up at the 32. Third and two coming up here. The defense is looking for the pass as they bring out their dime package. Play fake. Wide open. Six-yard line. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. The defense lines up in a dime. He gets another carry. He jukes. Oh, he's gone. To the 20. To the 10. And he will score. What a weapon this running back is. So the weapon, this guy makes the defense look silly. So yeah, yeah, they did knock. Yeah, but... Yeah, if he didn't get knocked down, he probably would have got him. Today's game. They're setting up for the PAT. Oh, that's the kicker. Marker down, and I think this came after the kick. He just took out the kicker. Now, the kicker's a vulnerable person on the field, so that penalty was designed to protect him. Unfortunately for him, he still got hit, but his team keeps the ball. He sends it off. Number 29, fields it in the two. So they beat this defense up through the air on their last drive. Let's see if they can replicate that performance this time around. First and 10, ball on the 11. Oregon comes out with a three receiver punt. He looks. Ah, nuts. Dead. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. I don't know how you can miss him. He's huge. And he came up with a very, very nice play. Second down and 10 to go. They line up in the shotgun. Look at the throw. He's looking. He lets it go. Oh, right in his hands. Tackle 
Man, shoot. That INT puts them in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. You're right, Kirk. Now they got the big MO oh, on their side. Yeah, just when I got hit, it just came out wrong. Touchdown. Another well they climb right back in this. So the coach has gone to great lengths to shift his receivers. We see the results on the field. But the game isn't over until the fourth quarter, so we'll and roll until the final gun, so it it just that interception uh gave him this touchdown. And don't have kicker this time. Okay, he did. <laughs> so with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Oregon 17, South Florida 14. So the team that's unranked is giving me a game because the last two teams I faced were ranked and I blowing them out. I mean, I, I crushed them. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Short kick, he didn't get a hold of that one. Field at the 18. At the point. Ooh, I was almost uh, see ya. So the offense will come almost. out and try to turn things around after an interception on their last drive. The quarterback has to get that interception out of his head. You can't be scared to keep firing away in this game, or the defense will tear you apart. Oh, I'm not scared. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Looking. Let's it fly. Uh, uh. Oh, that was close. Again, almost picked off. The receiver in the ball. This is what I would do. Well, how about it? They line up at the 45. Second down, 10 yards to go. They line up in the shotgun. Dixon drops back. Wants to go long and does. And got, it. got it. They get a nice game there. Yeah, nice pass play. You know what, Kurt? I think that defense kind of underestimated the speed of that receiver that time. Yeah, it's very good observation out of you, my friend. It's going to be interesting to see how they adjust here. The Ducks line up with five receivers. They'll throw on first down. Throws. Ty dropped it again. Same guy I passed to last time, too. As long as you don't make any mistakes, you can come away with some points, preferably a touchdown. The Ducks set up in the gun, on the ground, up the middle. Not and much. Go at the 13. Nothing gained on the play. Yo, how about this one? From the 13-yard line, it's third down. Okay. Dixon with three wide receivers. Back to pass. He's rolling left. Throws it. Got a touchdown. Touchdown, Oregon. I was, uh, I was eyeing the whole way. They've managed to find the end zone through the air. This quarterback gets it rhythm. Watch out. This could be ugly. Yeah, no question. That's a touchdown. second quarter, huh? <laughs> Number 25, he'll it to the seventh. Time once again for this offense to come back out 
start another drive. They'll go to work at the 28 yard line. The defense lines up with six DBs. I think we're going to run the clock, or no, not. South Florida will have one timeout remaining. They line up at the 32. Second down. South Florida lines up with three receivers. Oh, wide open. And he's tackled at midfield. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get over the end of his own coverage. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. South Florida lines up with a shotgun set. He passes it. And the that'll be the end of the first half. At the 41-yard line. They were moving the ball, but didn't quite get the TD they wanted. Well this, been, well, this has been my closest game so far. There's been no lack of scoring here as we've nope. reached halftime. <laughs> the score, Oregon 24, South Florida 14. South Florida will be kicking off to start the second half. Short kick, he didn't get a hold of that one. Joe takes from the 10. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out out of the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. The total yards have been pretty even. Going with the shotgun here. Well, let's say that that little miss, miss communication worked pretty well. <laughs> now plays. To begin bad, turn out to be good sometimes. This could be successful so. if the defense over pursues and is too aggressive. Second and short, ball on the 34 yard line. Some don't just work out. I mean, bad's a bad. So Oregon comes out of the shotgun. Dixon on the outside. Oh man, he read that, that all the way. Not gonna run it. Let's see if I can get it. See, it worked. The senior makes the catch. Good pick up by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves to play. He wants to pull every time they pull it up. You gotta play the game with a passion. I love the kids that love the game of football. It's first down. Dixon with four wide receivers. Play action. Looking over the middle. And he's got him again. What happened there, guys? Well, they were in man-to-man -man coverage on that play. And I couldn't tell if the defender slipped or he just got beat on that play. No, he just got beat. It was a good catch for the first down. As a coach, you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. First down, 10 yards to go. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. They'll give it off here. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Stewart gains around three yards on the run. This is what college football is all about. Oh, the action. That's right. <laughs> the Ducks have three receivers bunch. Dixon notches out to the right. Taken down at the 31. Well, I press it again and it didn't work. Jeez. Sometimes you take these situations for granted. It's always good to convert the first down and move the sticks. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. And I'm just going to throw it here because last time I did this, 
with four receivers. Here's the option. Oh, shoot. Wasn't set up for it there. And it's the same guy, too. 57. He's going to be a pain. That's all right. Well, I don't want to be intercepted. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I'm in Dixon. no man's Dixon. land. Dixon. Got it. He snags it. Brought down at the 24. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And coach, you can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep, this offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. I'm telling my quarterback in this situation to look at the defense and audible to a better play if he has to. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Dixon lines up with the shotgun. He guns it. Yeah, it's a pressure throw. I've seen the guy coming. Was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. My goal is to move the ball downfield, but I don't want to give away my entire game plan. Second it's second and ten. Ball on the 24. They'll give it off here. Hmm. They'll knock him down for a loss. They sure shut down the halfback on that play. Boy, they were in the backfield in a hurry. The back just had no space to run the football. It's the 11th play of the drive. Dixon lines up with five wide out. He looks. Guns it across the middle. Finds a man again. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. A third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. When you're in the red zone, you're real close, but close is not good enough. you got to come away with a touchdown right here. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Dixon, options right. Those don't always work a lot. I mean, I mean, wall, wall in this game. I'd spread out the offense and let my quarterback zip the ball in there. You only need a few more yards for a score. I'm going to give it a shot. So it's second and 14. I don't know who to give it to. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. Dixon hasn't missed yet. He unloads it. Sure have it. Came down with it. What a catch. <laughs> the pass was right on target. Well, Goes for six. Man, that was a bullseye of a pass. So I got the first touchdown, the first touchdown, the third, third quarter, second half. Took a while. And they're lining up for the PAT. second down. So it's second and ten. Ball of the 20. The bull come out of the ace formation. Little handoff. Shake and bake move. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Number one. Gains eight yards on that play. And we'll get it. He'll be stopped 
just short of a first down. Oh, so close yet so far away. I thought he had it. Nope. He's well short. South Florida, ready to pump this one away. Pacinger is back deep to return. Pumps the ball away. Hey, the 35. Oh no, good. Jeez. And they recover their own <laughs> that was near disaster there. This guy has got to do a better job Almost. protecting the football the next time. Because we came in and got a chance to get to get touchdown. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. Dixon hands off. Tackle Bay at the 45. They call his number and he carries for six yards. This option could be successful if the defense overpushes. I'll be in it. I'll be in the end of the third quarter. Five yard line. Second and four. So we've got one more quarter to play, and our score in this game is Oregon 31, South Florida 14. In this situation, I want my quarterback to be comfortable enough with the offense to be able to audible out of the play we call. In second and four. Ball on their own 45. Dixon lines up with the shotgun. Looks. He rolls left. He's looking for his man. And he pulls it that pissing her again. Looked like the linebackers bit on that play face. I didn't even know the quarterback had the ball. That's what the yo. Yo. If you're not excited about playing football, then you should be on the sideline watching. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. The Ducks have three receivers bunched. Stewart gets the ball. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. This is where you just go with what you know the best. He's about to say this play I can do. Ball on the 34-yard line. And it's the play I'm kind of comfortable with, too, so. Dixon is back in the gun. Dixon with the give. And they make the stop at the 31. Stewart gets three yards on the carry. In this short yard situation, you got to make sure not to pitch the ball unless you absolutely have to. Third down. Got it. There's a very impressive open field. There's pressure coming. With that last pass, coach, this quarterback's gone over 300 yards for the game. A very impressive performance indeed. I'd spread out the offense and let my quarterback zip the ball in there. You only need a few more yards for a score. The Ducks come out in a bunch formation. Dixon steps back to pass. Down the middle. Oh, almost got on the pressure throw. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna go down as a drop, my friend. Uh, a very frustrating drop. I like the play call. I like the pass even more, but it really doesn't matter if the receiver can't bring it in. This is awfully close. As long as you don't make any mistakes, you can come away with some points. Preferably a touchdown. Second down. This yes, half has been top, top some of running games. In this game, some of them have a good, yeah, a good breakout, but just not many. Yeah, here we go again. Caught, touchdown. And that should do it. <laughs> it's a fly, too bad, I don't care. the 
PAT. So with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Oregon 38, South Florida 14. Oregon is ready to kick it away. He sends it off. Number 25, that's to the five. Jake on the tackle. Well, the offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive. Let's see if they can do a little bit better here. Drive will start at the 23-yard line. Number eight with three wide receivers. He looks, throws it out there. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. Quarterback and receivers spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice, just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. Oregon lines up with five defensive backs. He throws left. The ball's incomplete. Foul, and he take a hit. Yes, my friend, but he's got to make those catches if he wants to play tight end in the big leagues. Otherwise, just gain a few pounds and become, yo, an offensive right. lineman. Third down. Defense, defense, defense. South Florida comes to the line. Only one man. And it's And it's going the other way. What By Thurman. Catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. People tend to think that guys play corner if their hands aren't good enough to play wide receiver. Because we just saw it's not always the case. Sometimes it's actually the opposite. Some guys play receiver instead of corner because they don't want to hit or tackle anybody. Let's see how well you can run this play. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. South Florida brings in the nickel here. And he's tackled at the 26. Well, that he seems one to be running was good harder run play. harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. you got to play it safe here and keep running the football. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 26. The Ducks line up in a goal line formation. They'll bring him down at the 19. A seven-yard run by the running back. A good good play. Try this one. And since we're inside the 20, where experience matters most, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. They line up in the shotgun. Look at the throw. Looking. Comes across the middle. And he's hit immediately. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Red zone play is crucial to winning and losing. As a coach, I'm concerned about not right. turning the ball over here because that means taking points off the board. Now yeah. work from the shotgun. There's a missed tackle. He's taken down at the four-yard line. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. They're four yards away. Here we go. They're crowding the line. Just running clock. It's a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. This play should work out very nicely. Right. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seventh. Or okay. Comes out with an eye I'll just keep the field goal. Or in case that Jonathan takes it in for six. Takes in for six. <laughs> and the halfback took it in for the score. That young man is going to be a valuable member of this squad. And he keeps running like that, he'll find himself in the end zone a lot. They'll 
line it up for the extra point. And he adds the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Oregon 45, South Florida 14. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. Number 21 and number 25 back needs to return. He kicks it off. Number 25 takes it at the 8 and wrap him up. Yeah, no, it's just red blue right now. Well, not the defense. They play well all game. Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. The Bull come out showing three wide. Drops back up first down. Three pass. Catches it. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. South Florida will take their first time out Why? of the bat. It's over. <laughs> Bye, no. They line up at the 36. They're just doing anything they, they can to, to go. try to fight their way back in this. Number eight lines up with four wideouts. Back to pass. Steps up with the throw. Complete. Knocked out of bounds at the 43 yard line. Number 89 picks him up around seven yards with that catch. The defense needs to tighten up on their coverage of this kid because whenever he gets some room on you, he makes a play. They line up at the 43. First down. The Bull line up with four wideouts. He drops back. He lets it go. And it falls incomplete. Number 18 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up second down. He's gone. To the 20, to the 10. He's all the way home. That's kind of a going to play there, but that's right. Receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. But he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. No, oh, don't rough the kicker again. Jeez. The PAT. Penalty marker down. We might have roughing the kicker. We do. First Have the Perfect ball too. Ball the ball to the 47. Let's anyways. Comes out of the shotgun. Looks to pass. Looks. He delivers. And it's incomplete. Oh, man. Drop passes just aren't acceptable. I don't care if you're getting hit or not. Hey, he'll shake it off. No big deal. Watch. They'll go to him again, and he'll come up with the catch. You know, he probably will, but there's still no excuse for the one he just dropped. The Bull come out of the ace formation. Play action. He throws it. And it's the tight end. And a pretty smart call right there. You're absolutely right. The reason why this play worked is that the play action throws the defense just enough to allow the receiver to get open. The 39-yard line. It's third down. The defense sets up in the nickel. He drops back. Rolls right. Throws it to the outside. Nice play. 
play by the defense. Yeah, I'll go for it. The defender made a solid effort to get to the ball there. Nice stop. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. The Ducks line up in a nickel back. There's the play fake. Rolls to the right. There he goes. Yeah, the first down. They'll bring him down. And the I got flag. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding. Holding on. Still South Florida will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Oh, now they punt. <laughs> it's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Parker, the return man. He punts it. Parker fields it at the middle level. The offense comes down on the field once again. And it'll be interesting to see if this defense has made any adjustments to stop this one again. Because they sure couldn't stop them from pulling down the field and scoring on that last drive. Just kneel it. Got eight seconds left. Over, and it's over. And he takes a knee. So, besides 52-21, how about, how about 45 to 21 Ducks? Kind of a touchdown less. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Well, it's not the outcome most people were expecting. South Florida didn't think these guys would give them any trouble at all. It ended up being more competition than they could handle. I think they overlooked this one and it came back to harm. That'll do it for this broadcast of NCAA Football 2008. The final score in this one, Oregon 45, South Florida 21. I'm Brad Nestler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. I'd like to thank you for playing, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, that's it. So on this game, I'll be back with a, uh, with a uh, special game, and after that, more NASCAR, and then NCAA Football 09. Get back with those.